Hello everyone, it's Frank, your English teacher. How are you this week? Me, I'm fine and I'm very happy to be with you on this week. So we will talk about the new lesson. So we will finish uh, Shela's shopping list, okay? So sentence six to 10. Then we will talk about some and any. You can take a look on your book, page 17, okay? So we, I will make a short lesson about this and a couple of examples. And after we will use it with the help of your book, page 17. Then we will talk about how much and how many. So the same way with your book, page 17. And I will give you some examples and a short lesson about this. Okay, so we can start. So let's start with Shella's shopping list. So last week we made the sentences one to five. So now it's about six to 10, okay? So you will take a piece of paper and a pencil, okay? And try to make those five sentences, okay? So you can click on pause, try that. And after I will give you the answer. Okay, so let's talk about that. So sentence number six, Sheila wants six large bar of chocolate. Okay, so do you see the bar of chocolate on the right? So six large bar of chocolate. So it's a bit too much. <laughs> number seven, Sheila wants three packs of frozen beans. Okay, so do you see the pack of Frozen and beans on the right. Okay, this is an example about this. Number eight, Sheila wants four bottles of Fizzy Orange. So I take the example uh, of a, bat a bottle of Fanta, okay, because you know that, I think. So Fizzy Orange, it's when you drink and make something on your mouth with the bubbles, okay? Fizzy Orange or Fizzy Strawberry. It depends what you drink. Number nine, Shella wants nine large red apples. Okay, so this is a variety of apple. You have green apples, yellow apples, and red apples. So this is a red large apple. And number 10, Shella wants six cartons of apple juice. Okay, so this is on the right, a carton of apple juice, so six cartons. Okay, it's okay for you. No problem about this, I think. So now we can go on the lesson. Let's talk about some and any. So before you can open your book, page 17, okay, to follow that on the first part, some and any. So let's read the rules first. Some is generally used in positive or affirmative sentences, like there are some flowers in a vase on the table, or he needs some medicine. Okay, so here it's affirmative. You don't have a question mark or it's not negative. Okay, so it's really simple. You know it's affirmative, you use some. Or exception to the rule. Some can also be used in questions. If you are offering something to someone or asking for something by thinking that the answer is yes or oops for such an answer. Would you like some coffee? Okay, so about the exception. It's not every time. So don't focus too much on that. Okay, just... Learn in affirmative sentences, you use some. Now we will go and take a look with any. So any is generally used in negative sentences. There aren't any students in the school or I don't want to drink any fruit juice. Any is used in questions. Do we have any bread in the house? Or 
he hasn't received any emails yet. Exception to the rule, any can only be used in positive sentences if it's used with conjunctions such as if and whether. We will always help you if you have any problems or troubles. Okay, so here it's the same. Focus on one thing. Affirmative sentences, you use some. Negative sentences, you use any. Okay, don't focus too much on the, on the rules in general here, okay? Affirmative and negative will be enough for now. Okay, so you can take a picture on that because it will help you to make the exercise just that way. Now we can take a look on much and many. Much is used with uncountable nouns. It is mainly used in negative and interrogative clauses. Okay, so for examples, how much money have you got? We didn't spend much money. There isn't much data to download. I'm sorry, but I don't have much time. Okay, so for example, about much. Now about many. Many is used with countable nouns. It's mainly used in questions, affirmative sentences, and negative sentences or negations. You can say negatives too. Example, I don't have many friends. There are too many disadvantages in this business. How many children do you have? Are there many poor people in France? Okay, so just focus on that. Match with uncountable nouns and negative and interrogative clauses. And many is used with countable nouns. Only that, okay? We, you will see with the book page 17. It will be really easy. So now take a look and open your book. Still open your book, page 17, okay? So here we have first, some and any. Do you have any milk? Yes, I have some milk. Do you have any eggs? No, I don't have any eggs. So just remember about that. Affirmative sentences, you use some. Yes, yes, I have some milk. Yes, I have some cheese. Yes, I have some water. Or yes, I have some apple. Or any with negative sentences. No, I don't have any butter. No, I don't have any grapes. No, I don't have any bread. Or no, I don't have any ice cream. Okay, if you just learn that, you can make the sentences properly. So now we can speak about how much, how many. So let's take a look on the sentences. How much rice do we have? We have five kilos of rice. How many apples do we have? We have two apples. Okay, so here you can take a look on how much with uncountable nouns, like how much butter, because you can count the butter like an apple, for example. How much milk, how much sugar, or how much money. And in the other hand, how many with countable nouns like how many eggs, how many apples, how many bananas, or how many oranges, okay? Because here, when you take a look, you can immediately be able to count. I have three apples, I have six eggs, or I have four oranges, okay? So just learn about this, and you cannot make mistakes, okay? Okay, for today, the lesson is over. So I know today it's a bit huge, okay? So you must focus on the main things about 
how much, how many, okay? Or don't focus too much on too much things, okay? Go step by step. If you have some difficulties, you can restart the video again. Next week, I will prepare an exercise about this to check if everything is okay. So first, good job. Take care of you and your family and see you next week. Bye-bye.